Now, he's the perfect antidote for a miserable day. Doc Martin star, Martin Clunes, is back on our screens. This time he's exploring the islands of the Pacific. What a lucky fella. <laughs> Before we chat, let's take a look at him in action. Every volcano has its own pattern of eruptions. has been erupting every few minutes, more or less continuously, for centuries. Absolutely speechless. And Martin joins us now. Martin, that looked like the best gig ever in telly. Yeah, God, yes, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, really the best gig. And especially, you know, after it, the, the world closed, so I sort of you know, look back on it with a particular fondness. Yeah. Um, just before the world shut. Yeah, so tell us a bit about the programme then. This is you going off and exploring lots of different places and taking their cultures in and everything. Yeah, yeah, it is. Um, and looking at all the the different islands, but um, and seeing that, you know, how, how, how very different each culture is, but also what I didn't expect was the, uh, the connection between the different nations. Um, of, of Polynesia, um, which is absolutely massive. And they, they refer to it as a liquid continent. Uh, and, and one guy said to me that he didn't see the islands as being separated by water. They were joined by water, which I thought is a particularly nice way of looking at it. But you do realise that from, you know, the Maoris in New Zealand in the south up to Tonga, Taiwan, Hawaii, uh, everyone's Polynesian and they're all doing it their own way. But there's a... They know of each other. There's a link. It's yeah. fascinating. What a great community spirit. And and tell me what would go on then? What were the highlights for you? Well, that volcano was, you know, what did you do in the war, Daddy? That um that was that was really bizarre and terrifying and very special. And to be up there all on our own. Um with what what you can't get is appreciate is the sound of it. Yeah. Uh, it, 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 it you just we because we associate those sounds with um a, a mistake or do you know what I mean an accident or something's yeah. gone wrong and it really looks like the world's burst then we're all going to die did you not get scared looking at that yeah really scared <laughs> and I was I was interviewing the guy who's the chief um and there were gobbets of, of of lava flying up well above his head he didn't you know he didn't break break stride and I was like what 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 <laughs> but uh, we didn't get hit yeah, and you did you did some swimming with sharks as well, didn't you? What was that like? Yes, I did. Yes, that was. I thought it was fine because I thought I was immune because there was a television camera to any harm. Um, <laughs> until the lady said we should get out of the water now. <laughs> <laughs> and and for you doing this, obviously we've seen you do shows like this before. What do you love about it? Um, I don't know. I think I think there's a, a, a very genuine fascination with just islands that I think most of us maybe have. I, I, I always said, if you look at two ponds and one has an island in it and the other one doesn't, it's the one with the island that captures your interest. But also seeing the way that people on islands live. Most people who live on small islands have more than one job um, because they'll be their job and then there'll be something for the greater good of the of the island community and they all have to have stuff imported and borders and visas and stuff but everybody does it in their own way yeah. but I, I tell you um, they're a lesson to us these Polynesian people because they're they just have a a, a welcoming and uh, an ability to conjoin people with them and absorb them that we really uh, lack over here on the chilly side of the planet yeah. um, they're, they're amazing how does uh, travelling the world and doing all these fabulous programmes compare with uh, doing Have I Got News For You with me a couple of weeks ago? <laughs> that was good, wasn't it, considering um, um, considering it was a grim news week. We did OK, didn't we? Yeah, it was really fun. It was lovely working with you on that. And obviously we all love you and uh, Doc Martin as well. And I can't believe it's been, when I was reading the notes about this, 18 years you've been <laughs> yeah. doing that. Yeah, yeah. 18 years. And in all that time, Caroline Katz has refused to show any signs of ageing. <laughs> and I've got a senior rail card. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, and so is this, this, it's going to be finishing, is that right? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Why yeah. is that? 
because probably because it's been 18 years or it just feels like a very good time to stop um yeah. i think we've we've got it covered uh, and i know that the people who like it are going to like this series um and i think i think they probably would agree that it's probably time to stop because it might i mean the people who don't like it probably think it is flogging a dead horse but we wouldn't want to think we were we yeah. like horses. Is there yeah. anyone, anyone who's ever thought that you, you actually are that profession? Has anyone come and asked your advice on any medical things? <laughs> no, no. <Good. laughs> <laughs> but you are, you are a dab hand on the farm, aren't you? Because you've actually... I mean, is this where you are now? Is this your, your farm where you are? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, her, oh, that, look, that's uh, Penny and Heidi. Yeah, are they... Uh, I wasn't sure if they were cushions, actually, cos I've not seen them move. <laughs> <laughs> that is well that's my bitches yeah. um the boys, are, the, the boys are upside down in their baskets we've all had a big walk <laughs> what? what other animals have you got there then um i did funnily enough weirdly i found this ball of string and i didn't even know we had a ball of string and then there was there was a cat on the table up until a minute ago <laughs> max the cat um we've got two cats here we've got our horses all over the place um, of a handful of stupid cows and somebody else's sheep. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds amazing, I love it. Well, Martin, as ever, it's been lovely to chat to you. Uh, good luck with Me everything too. you've got. And that show, it looks fabulous. Martin Collins, Islands of the Pacific continues this Thursday.